Hello friends, welcome to my garage decontamination lab. Today I'm going to be decontaminating a Russian gas mask. Here it is. Is that creepy looking enough for you? Now the first thing you're probably thinking of is coronavirus. No, it has nothing to do with coronavirus. I watched the uh, HBO special Chernobyl several months ago and got interested in all that sort of thing and uh, they had these really creepy looking masks on that show and uh, found one on eBay and ordered it. And it's been sitting around in the box for, uh, I don't know, a couple of months now. And uh, with all this talk of the Corona thing, I just thought I'd uh, get this out and clean it up. It, uh, it came from the Ukraine and uh, it's been in a warehouse over there, manufactured in 1990. And it's all gritty. I mean, you know, it's just kind of gritty like, and uh, I want to clean it. This is one cool looking mask, I'll tell you that. If you're a fan of Russian gas masks, that is. So anyway, I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to turn the camera off while I get this all done. And then come back in a few minutes. Okay, so I got the mask all clean. It took about 10 minutes of uh, washing with the sponge and detergent. Now I've got uh, some water. We're getting into the bleach phase now. Make it up a 1 to 50 solution, which according to this information here is what's used for uh, scuba equipment. This is not scuba equipment, but it's similar. It's made out of rubber. Used for the same purposes, except not underwater. So I can just keep this bleach off of my clothes. Hose in here. It has to. Uh, this has to soak for 30 minutes. Now let's see. Turn this wrong side out. about cleaning the Russian gas mask. How's that look? Look cool looking. Okay, a few more minutes to go. Okay, I'm back. It's been about 30 minutes, and from time to time I've been agitating this uh, mask, keep the stuff stirring around good. So now what I'm going to do is take this outside, actually, where I've got plenty of uh, working room, and uh, get the garden hose and rinse this thing and flush it out really, really good, and let it dry overnight. And I'll see you tomorrow. Hello again, Russian gas mask people, enthusiasts of all the things uh, Russian, Cold War, fallout, all that sort of thing. Okay, it's the next day and I have the mask all ready to go here. It's all clean, dry, it smells nice and fresh. It smells like rubber. What a shock, huh? I mean, it's like a real good condition. It's almost like it's new, you know, to have been built in 1990 or manufactured then. It's amazing. So, you know, uh, this thing was originally uh, intended to be used in a Cold War, well, no, actually a hot war situation after a nuclear disaster where there would be fallout, radioactive dust, you know, coming down everywhere. And the idea is this would keep you from breathing the dust. 
and getting into your lungs and, you know, and circulating all through your body. It's not going to do anything for the gamma radiation, which would just go right through you, but for uh, you know, a couple of days later when you've got the radioactive dust with alpha mainly radiation, it would uh, take care of that for you. So I'm going to show you how it all fits together at this point. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now?